A house for sale ruined when a car crashed right into it. The good news is that no one was badly hurt, but the damage is bad enough that the house will likely have to be pulled off the market. Now, WBZ's David Robe show is live in Plainville with how this all happened. Roby? David, I just checked with Plainville police. There's no cause right now. It's still under investigation. There was supposed to be an open house here this afternoon. In fact, a couple of people showed up. They didn't hear the news that a car crashed through the front of this house that's on busy Route 106 here. The homeowner says despite the hassle, she's just very relieved that no one was seriously hurt. I had just gotten up, hadn't even had my morning coffee, and we heard this terrible noise. The noise was a Jeep Cherokee slamming through the front of Lynn Swanson's childhood home. The whole thing started at the pole up there that the workmen are working on, came through across that front lawn, hit the birch tree, came through this front lawn, became airborne, and went into the house. The SUV landed on top of their gas meter, which had to be shut off. Because a telephone pole was sheared in half, police closed down the road on busy Route 106. The driver of the SUV, according to Lynn, did not appear seriously hurt. I was just glad that the person, you know, the, it was a woman driver, that she was okay. When they took her out of the car, she was sitting up on the stretcher and she was alert. So that's a blessing. The house, which is over 100 years old, belonged to Lynn's mother. Lynn and her husband live in the house behind it. The home is empty because it's up for sale. And in fact, we had four showings this afternoon, which of course have been canceled. <laughs> One potential buyer didn't get notified. He showed up with the listing in hand. The house previously priced at $399 had been reduced to $299 recently. The price includes both houses. Lynn, who is trying to maintain her sense of humor, told me this gives new meaning to open house. It's a 100-year-old house. Some could say, well, if the potential buyer was going to knock it down anyway... We've some started them... it for him. <laughs> there you go. Again, police say the cause of the crash is still under investigation, but they did tell me the driver suffered only minor injuries. The realtor left here just a short time ago. He showed up because he wanted to head off any people that were showing up for that potential open house. He also told me that the house has been officially pulled off the market for now until they can do a full damage estimate. Live in Plainville, I'm David Robichaud, WBZ News. Roby, thank you. We have a